so we're going to start with our topper here. So I mixed up five milliliters each part A and B epoxy. I am using Facet because I do want this to cure relatively quickly. Now you can also use UV resin in place of this. However, it will take quite a bit of UV resin. So to my epoxy, I'm just adding some mica powder and just a small amount of this intense dispersion color just because I don't want it to overtake the mica and the shine. So once I have that mixed up, I'm just going to apply this over the entire topper, making sure that I don't drip any through the straw hole. We don't want that and you can try and avoid getting it on the bottom if you can. If you do get excess epoxy on the sides and it does drip over, it is relatively easy to pop off. You just have to be careful that you don't take too much of the epoxy off or you could crack or damage it. So I'm just using my stir stick and I am going all around the entire topper here, just very lightly. You don't want to have too much because that will cause it to drip. So I'm just making sure that it is covered and that it is not streaky and I'm going to go and do this around the entire topper. I did leave the two little side pieces here. I did not cover those with the epoxy because I do go back in at a later time and add a different color to those. Once that's fully covered, we're just going to let that cure fully and then after it's cured, you can pop off any of those excess epoxy drips. Once the epoxy on your topper has dried, now we're going to finish off our topper. So I am just using these cute little bee charms and I'm going to add just UV resin to the back of them and I am going to adhere it to my topper using the UV resin. You just want to make sure that you have enough UV resin on here to fully attach it. However, you can also go back over the topper with just regular epoxy to seal everything over. However, I found that using the UV resin, as long as you add a good amount, this does hold it in place quite well. Once you have your bees attached, now we're just going to color in the windows here. So I am using black for the inside middle of it just to kind of give it some contrast color here. And then I am going to mix up just a custom color, which is slightly darker than the yellow that we used for the actual beehive. And I'm going to fill that carefully around the outline. So I'm just adding my dispersion color directly to my UV resin. Now you only need a small amount of the dispersion color to the UV resin. Otherwise it will make it become gunky and thick and it won't be easy to work with. So just a small amount will go a long way with this UV resin. So I'm going to be doing it just one section at a time and then curing it and then moving on to the next one. That way I don't have to worry about it dripping or running at all. Just make sure that you continue to flip between the two sides, making sure that it is fully cured. For our cup, we're going to screw in our cup check directly into the cup here with our PVC, and then we are going to attach that to our turner. And you'll want to mix up 10 milliliters each part A and B epoxy, and then we are going to apply just a good amount of that mica directly into the epoxy, as well as a small amount of that intense dispersion color. Once you have that thoroughly mixed up, we're just going to apply this directly onto the stainless steel tumbler, and we're just going to smooth it out over the entire tumbler, just making sure you get it in nice, even streaks. Now, it may look a little bit streaky while you're applying it. However, because the epoxy is self-leveling, this will even itself out, and you will have a nice, smooth layer. Once your entire tumbler is covered, you do want to make sure you let that fully cure before we move on to the next step. 
Once your epoxy is fully cured, now we're going to add our decals here. So you do want to make sure that you use just the removable vinyl. 631 is best because we are going to be removing these from our cup. We don't want them to be super adhered. So we are just going to apply the little honeycomb pattern here just in random spots throughout the cup. Keep in mind where you apply them here is going to be where the gold will stay. Everything else will be covered up. So you can add or cover up as much or as little as you'd like. you have your pattern placed how you like now we're just going to go in with just a matte white spray paint i am using the montana brand because i do like how it looks and it does dry very quickly now your spray paint doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to be covering it up with the paint here shortly after so as long as you get just kind of a fine layer down and you cover most of it you should be fine and then we're going to just peel off our vinyl pattern that we placed down very carefully being sure not to lift any of that paint this is best done while the paint is wet it helps from it cracking or peeling off any of that paint that you don't want All of your vinyl removed and your spray paint is completely dry and now we're going to take our pop of color paint and I'm just going to just put a little small dab onto my mat here and then I'm going to use this dry chip brush this is important to help get this look here and then we're just going to apply just a small amount onto the tumbler and then start brushing that in to get that distressed look you don't want too much paint here otherwise it will end up globby and you won't get that distressed brush look now you do want to make sure that you go over the honeycombs as well to get those fine lines and then we'll come back in to remove that excess paint off of those. You can use a q-tip and just dip that in a little bit of alcohol. I'm just using an alcohol wipe and I'm just going very carefully over the little honeycombs here, just removing any of that excess paint. Once your paint is dry, we're just going to mix up 5 milliliters each part A and B epoxy here. You only need a small amount and you won't even use that much. This is going to be for our drip. So once you have that mixed up, we're going to start by adding scoopfuls of the nice and thick directly to the epoxy. I prefer using fast set epoxy for my drips because it does cure quicker and you don't have to worry about the drips running as much. However, you can use any epoxy you'd like. You may just need to add more nice and thick depending on the consistency of your epoxy. So you'll just want to keep adding it scoopful by scoopful until you get to the desired consistency, just making sure that you do mix it in very well. So for my coloring, I am using just the same gold mica again, so I'm going to mix that in about halfway through, and then I'll mix that up, and I'll continue to keep adding my nice and thick until I get to the desired consistency. Then I did go back and I added one to two drops of this gold alcohol ink just to give it a more gold color compared to the orange here. Once you have it mixed up into your desired consistency, now I'm just going to take my little silicone stir stick here and I'm just going to go around the edge, just adding a small amount at first, being sure that my cup is tilted so that the drips start to form here. And I'm just going to go around the entire edge of the cup, just being careful that if you tilt it one way or another, the drips, if depending on how thick your epoxy is, can tilt or move to one way. So just make sure that you're continuously keeping that cup tilted at an angle and turning that as necessary. Thank you. 
Once you've gone fully around the cup, I go back over those same spots with more epoxy and just kind of fill in the top again just to make sure that it is a little bit thicker towards the top there. let that cure i'm just going to put that on my turner and just let that spin until it is cured and you do want to let it fully cure before our next step here so now i'm just adding these honeycomb outlines here in this pretty metallic gold textured vinyl and i'm just adding those into my empty spots on my cup i'm not using transfer tape because this is before we've epoxied over the paint so if i were to use transfer tape it would likely peel the paint so i'm just very carefully placing them exactly where i want them to go Now we're going to mix up 10 milliliters each part A and B epoxy and we are going to apply that over the entire tumbler including the drip as well. Don't forget to use your torch to pop any of those micro bubbles. While the epoxy is still wet, I'm just going to sprinkle a few of these stone mica pieces here in the empty spots. Now, the stone mica is very dense. It is very thick, so a lot of the pieces will tend to stick together. So I'm just sprinkling just a few pieces here, and then I'm going to use the same epoxy that we mixed up and just kind of rub those in so that they're not chunked up together. So I'm just using my gloved finger and then taking some of that epoxy and then just smoothing that out, making sure that the epoxy goes over the stone mica here. Now, while I'm spreading it, some of the stone mica is getting into the vinyl pieces and to the honeycombs, which I don't want. So after I've spread that out with the epoxy here, I'm just going to use a pair of tweezers and just carefully remove any of the pieces that I don't want on there. Once this cures, you'll want to go back over and add a final coat of epoxy and then let that cure. Don't forget to add the magnets to your lid for your topper and you can also add a light to it if you wish. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more fun crafty tutorials, don't forget to like and subscribe.